Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and I'm just about to show you some of the yarn that I got today when I went uh, shopping to Aldi. Um, got a couple of bits and pieces, <clears throat> fair bit, I guess. And um, I didn't think I was gonna buy any more, but um, well, you know, it called to me. So before I do, just to um, let you know, um, those of you who haven't, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell. You'll be informed when there are new videos, um, new tutorials, um, my vlog now, I'm doing a vlog, and um, live streams, all kinds of stuff. And um, just wanted to also say that um, I'm doing quite a lot at the moment of converting my older tutorials to left-handed. I've been asked quite a few times if I would do some left-handed tutorials. So what I'm doing at the minute is just going back over some of mine and converting them to left-handed. But when I do new ones, I'll do both. So um, don't worry, I'm not turning to a lefty and that's it. it. There'll be both. But of course, I've got quite a bit of a backlog of tutorials that I've done. So I'm just popping them up now and then. So don't worry if you're getting those. You can, if they don't apply to you, you can either not watch them or you can just put them on and watch them for me because you love me. But eh, I didn't say that, did I? Anyway, what did I get? Well, remember the last time I went, I got this and I got 10 of these because I wanted to make myself a nice, really chunky blanket. Now, um, I've got another two of these only got two they did have some more but I figured I probably had enough um, now I love these they're called hurly burly chunky yarn and they're color sand and they're 200 gram balls they're that knit and pearl so crafty I think they all are knit and pearl so crafty now there is a pattern on the inside to make this um, cushion cover but I won't be doing that um, it's a knitted one anyway I think I can knit but I don't have my needles with me um, so this is classed as a six weight. It is quite, quite hefty. And it's, uh, where are we? 96 metres, 200 gram balls. So uh, yeah, it's nice and soft. I quite like this, but I've never used anything quite so fat yet. This will be my first time with it. And um, well, it's all different colours, but I quite fancied breaking it up with another colour. And so um, while I was in the Aldi before, th this is a different Aldi. This is one near my house on the mainland. But the Aldi here had a few large balls of bulky, chunky yarn, the same thickness. And um, I never really took much notice until I got home. And I thought, you know, you should have got some contrast colours, like picked one colour out maybe to do some plain to break it up a bit from all that colour change. So I got this one because they had several of these giant balls of this um, very, very thick yarn. Um, they just call this chunky, but there's no way on earth that that is chunky because that would just be a bulky five and there's, you know, it's, it's a monster. So um, this colour is just called cream. They're 3 99 for a big ball. Now these ones, I didn't tell you the price, did I? They're 3 99 for this cake. Now I've got a bit of a problem. No matter where I filmed here, I was a bright yellow kind of light source when I tried to shoot my video. So I've had to close the curtains, which means I can't really see too clearly the yarn band. And if I put my light on, I, it does actually look quite scary. Trust me on this, it does. So I'm um, trying to see the yardage on these and I don't really want to rustle too much. It's got a nice little peep hole here for feeling. It's nice and soft, so that's cool. I'm glad about that. Right, I'm going to try and read this. I'm not holding out a great deal of hope. It does help not to have it upside down. Oh, there we go. 400 grams, 198 metres. 100% acrylic. And um, yeah, so I quite like that. It's nice. I thought it would break up those colours and do some, you know, like when I did the the big 
um, Aran blanket that I made and I just put some colours in with the variegated in it, kind of broke it up nicely. I may have gone a bit over the top with this, thinking about it, because I got one, two, three, four. And so really they are quite hefty, but then I got 12 of the other. God knows how long, big I'm gonna make this blanket. But um, I'm kind of excited about it actually. Um, I'll probably just do a really simple stitch though, something like the moss stitch or something, because it's, you know, it's too thick to do an intricate stitch with it. It wouldn't be right, I don't think. So um, what else did they have? Ah, oh, this. I was so excited about this. Now, I don't want it to fall out because it feels like it's going to, but it, it's just very loose in the bag. They could have got another one in there. Just saying. Um, this is absolutely lovely and soft. I'm trying to see if there's an opening anywhere where I can get a ball out. But these are all sealed, which is a bit of a shame. I'll try and get one out. I don't even see where they've sealed it. Oh, hang on. Here we are. There we go. I managed to get one. And then all the rust then will stop. So this is like they've had lots and lots and lots of chenille yarns in over the time. And they've been quite sturdy. They've been getting softer and more drapey over the time. But this one is baby. And look at that. I don't hold out a great deal of hope of there being very much yardage because it is quite so um, loose in this ball. But this is just called Baby and it's called Sparkle Lemon because it does have a lovely sheen to it. I don't know if you can see it, but it does. It's got not just, it's got like a silkiness to it, but it is so ultra fluffy. It's absolutely lovely and I had to get it. Because um, if you watched my vlog, you'll know that we've just found out we're having another little baby in the family. So these are 100 gram balls and they're 95 meters and they're 100% polyester. But I got this lovely lemon color. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's coming up on the screen a little bit paler than it actually is. So each um, pack has four skeins and I got, so that I've had one and this is my second one. I'm having a bit of a tussle with the bag now, but this is so soft, absolutely amazingly soft. Um, I'll put this bag on the floor out of the way. So uh, bear in mind, I already have two out there. I've got another one. Was that it? I think that might have been it. I think that's all for that one. So I got three packs. There's 100 grams in each. So I thought it would be enough to make a nice baby blanket or... 10 perhaps so that was that and then i decided i don't do much in the way of amigurumi but they had little amigurumi packs of cotton and i kind of liked them so i got a couple of these oh by the way i didn't tell you how much that was did i silly me so each pack of four is 3.99 and these are is that 3.99 right under the touch me bit where you can feel it I think they've put it in the wrong way around because you can't touch anything there. Three ninety nine for this pack of eight little balls. And they're very tightly packed in. And they're just like the kind of amigurumi ones you get from Hobbycraft. So they are eight times 25 grams, approximately 460 meters. I guess that's total combined. And this is called Oceanic amigurumi yarn so that's that one and i think i might have got a couple of those yep there's the other one so i didn't know what possessed me but i don't think it's amigurumi i actually wanted to make with them so right then i noticed this stuff i've not seen this before because they didn't have it in the shop when i went before and this is lovely and soft got a little peep hole there where it, and it is just just beautiful and this is just called fluffy yarn and it's called cheek sounds perfect for me because it's got a bit of a cheek 
Um, and you get four times 50 gram balls for 3 99 And I'm just trying to see, because it's a very small right in there. Let's have a look. 28% um, nylon, 65% acrylic and 7% alpaca. So I hope I'm not looking too ghostly. I hate that. Includes a bunting pattern on the inside. Don't really fancy that. And although it's got, it's just called fashion, fashion yarn. So um doesn't really tell me the weight because the little yarn ball, you know the little symbol for yarn ball there is blank. So that's well helpful, isn't it? Where they actually do have the symbol, it's blank. So um let's try and get a strand and see. I think that kind of looks to me like a a DK-ish kind of because it's fluffy. I'd say it's more of a DK. So I got one, two packs of cheek. So that's nice. I thought that was kind of cute. And they also had it in blue, this lovely baby blue. And that colour is just called Mist. Exactly the same before, all the same dimensions and stuff. But I like that colour. That is a lovely blue. It's like, say periwinkle or like just a powdery blue. And then I thought I'd give this a go. I've not seen this before. It's a kind of a crinkly vibe, look. See, it's all kind of crinkly. And this is wavy yarn, <laughs> wavy yarn, and it's called Flax. So uh, that's 3 99 and I believe this one says it's a three weight. I'm fl my phone's just about to run out of charge in a minute. Yeah, this is a three. They actually remembered to put the three in it, which is handy. And this has got an, a pattern on the inside for a tassel scarf. Don't think I want to make that. This is 87% cotton and 13% polyamide. And 468 meters. So looking forward to using that. So they've got this lovely yellow colour. It's really lovely lemon. So I kind of predicted that we was going to be having this little baby, didn't I? And lastly, I've got this lovely mint green. It's really a lovely green. It's beautiful. So um, and that colour is called mint. <laughs> Which, you know, pretty much says it all that is actually the color of mint so what did i get anything else in this bag i thought i did oh no it's just another bag so yeah i've got quite a lot and bearing in mind i had nowhere to put the last lot going to be a bit of a challenge definitely going to be a bit of a challenge but one good thing apart from getting blue and cheek all the other colours that i got are kind of neutral. <laughs> so that was kind of handy, wasn't it? Because I didn't know when I got them. It's like I must have had a spooky bit of a premonition that um, I'd be needing some kind of baby soft, neutral coloured yarn. So I should look forward to conjuring up some bits and pieces for my channel with these. So thanks for watching. And um, I was, I stuck by all the rules when I went out, masked up, gloves, tons of sanitizer. Every shop now has got sprays and stuff you to, to spray your trolleys down. So I was doing that. And um, so I, I abided by all the safe distance. So yeah, it was kind of a, a productive um, day out really. Got lots of stuff. And uh, I'm quite excited about some of these because I like trying new textures and uh, they've definitely not had these things in before and you can feel through the little peep hole. They're lovely and soft. So that's cool. Well, thanks for watching and um, stay safe, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. That didn't work.